Okay, today we're going to learn a little bit about Philippians. Philippians. So there's a lot of letters that are written by Paul. Number 50, number 50 book in the Bible is Philippians. Philippians. Now this is named after a city as well. Who can guess what the city is called? Does anybody know? Philippa? Or almost. What do you have to do? You want to say something? All right, Simon. Almost. It's Philippi. Philippi. So Philippi is where the Philippians are from. Okay, so this is a letter to the Philippians. And one of the themes we're going to look at today in the letter to the Philippians, the epistle to the Philippians, epistle is a letter, is about being a servant. Okay, so remember Paul. So this is another letter from Paul and he went out you know, after he was got, got saved and he was preaching and he was writing letters to the different churches. This is one of them, the letter to the Philippians in Philippi. And one of the main themes in the book of Philippians is about being a servant. What do you think of when you think of being a servant? I don't know, this is a servant. This is like a waiter, somebody who is serving food to people. So what is a servant? A servant is somebody that does things for others, don't they? They are serving. When you're serving somebody, that means you're doing something for somebody else. You're not doing something only for you. Right? So this is what a servant is. And if we look in Philippians, we see this theme here in Philippians 2. Philippians chapter 2, verse 4. Look at this. Look not, everyone looking up here, look not every man on his own things, see, not on yourself, but every man also on the things of others. Okay, so that's what it means to be a servant. A servant is when you think about other people, right Atticus? A servant is when you think about other people, not just about yourself. That's why Paul is saying here, I want every man not just to look on his own things, not your own things, but every man also on the things of others. So when our focus is other people, that's when we have the mind of a servant. And you know, this same mind was in Jesus. Because when Jesus died on the cross, he didn't have himself in mind. Who did he have in mind? You. 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 Right? You. You. He had others in mind, didn't he? Noah as well. Jerusha, he had you in mind too. And he went to the cross. And that's why in Philippians 2, it continues. It says in verse 7, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a... Look at this. What's this word? Servant. Can you guys say that together? Servant. You see? So he was a servant when he went to the cross God himself took upon him the form of a servant. Look at this. And was made in the likeness of men. Do you see how God became a man? He took on flesh in order to serve you. Isn't that amazing that the God of the universe would serve you? You know, we, sh we should be serving the God of the universe, but here God serves us. Philippians 2, 8. And being found in fashion as a man... You see how he's in the likeness of men? He humbled himself. See, because to serve somebody else, you need to have some humility, don't you? Humility is when you know what your place is. You're willing to serve others. You're willing to think of others. And became obedient unto death. Look at this. Even the death of the cross. So you see, this was the ultimate show of being a servant. And Jesus wants us to serve the way he did. Selfless sacrificial right look not every man on his own things but every man also on the things of what's this Simon others, others. let's say that together others right we're thinking about others when we're a servant all right ready let's read this one together Philippians chapter 2 verse 4 look not every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others. All right, I want to show you one last thing so to help you remember. 
Who knows how to read this? All right, Mateo. Joy. Okay, so this is how we remember how to serve in the right order. So you remember, we want to serve, but we want to serve how? With joy. Right, J-O-Y. Very good. We want to serve with joy. So how do we remember who to serve first? You can remember these three letters. Joy. We know first person we want to serve is who? Jesus. Jesus. Right, because God always comes first. Right? If we serve with joy, who do we serve first? We serve Jesus. What do you think the O stands for? Mateo. Others. That's right. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. So you see how we serve God first, then we serve others. And what do you think the last one is? Why? You. You. Yourself. So it's a good reminder, isn't it? When we serve, we need to think of others first. God comes first, then others before yourself. So we can apply the same things in life, can't we? When we serve with joy, when we think about others, think about when you play the games afterwards. We're going to play some games. You know, when you get upset and you get angry, who are you serving? You're serving yourself, aren't you? But if you want other people to have fun, right? When we want to do what's right by God first, but if we put others first, you know, then we can have this joy, don't we? So let's serve with joy. We need to think about others. Serving is when you're thinking about others first. Right? So you want to do right by others. You want others to have fun before who? Yourself. All right? So we serve with joy. All right, we're going to play some games today because we've done crafts for the last couple of weeks. So let's go over there. We'll split you guys up. We'll play some games. <laughs>